throwing knives to deal with distant enemies. Come in, Altair. You've done well. Three of the nine lay dead, and for this you have my thanks. But do not think to rest upon your laurels. Your work has just begun. I am yours to command, Master. King Richard, emboldened by his victory at Arca, prepares to move south towards Jerusalem. Salah Hadin is surely aware of this, and so he gathers his men before the broken citadel of Arsuf. Would you have me kill them both then? End their war before it begins in earnest? No. To do so would scatter their forces and subject the realm to the bloodlust of 10,000 aimless warriors. It will be many days before they meet, and while they march, they do not fight. You must concern yourself with a more immediate threat. The men who pretend to govern in their absence. Give me names and I'll give you blood. So I will. Abun Dukud, the wealthiest man in Damas. Majduddin, regent of Jerusalem. William of Montferrat, liege lord of Akka. What are their crimes? Greed, arrogance, the slaughter of innocents. Walk amongst the people of their cities. You'll learn the secrets of their sins. Do not doubt that these men are obstacles to the peace we seek. Then they will die. Another of your items is restored. Take it. See that it is put to good use. Return to me as each man falls, that we might better understand their intentions. And Altair, take care. Your recent work has likely attracted the attention of the city guard. They'll be more suspicious than they've been in the past. Altair, it seems my students do not fully understand what it is to wield a blade. Perhaps you could show them what you know. Become one with it. Use this. 
scholars you have rescued to pass unnoticed into guarded areas. <laughs> 